Even our hip hop legends do goofy shit. I don't like goofy behavior, you feel me? Especially for some of the elder statesmen in hip hop. And Daryl DMC Mitchell is, I think that's his name. I think that's his name. McDonald, McDonald's, McDaniels, something. It's Mick something, McRib something. But anyway, he doing some goofy shit. Now, you say, what, what, what you mean he doing goofy shit? I was listening to something that he was talking about, younger hip-hop artists and the uh, the state of hip-hop that is set now. And he talking uh, about the younger kids and how he disapproves of some of the things that's going on in hip-hop. I disapprove of, as well because I don't like everything that's going on in hip-hop. I don't like all the sounds. I don't like all the moves being made. I don't like all of it. I like some of it because I'm always going to be a hip-hop fan and I'm going to like new creative shit, but I don't, I don't, I'm not in the grants with all of it, and so, what he was saying, I was, uh, relating to most of it, I was relating to most of it, but all of it, I wasn't, because it sounded like he was, um, I don't want to say belittling, but how you say, belittling, <laughs> be littling anyway we're gonna like skip what i just it sounded like he was trying to like down talk him let's just say that down talk him. but um he had on a rock and roll t-shirt so that made me think like yo damn is that like do he really not fuck with hip-hop no more because he ain't rocking no hip-hop do he really not fuck with hip-hop no more he got on a uh uh whatever type t-shirt rock and roll t-shirt but that didn't come to my knowledge. I didn't. I, I wasn't aware of his excessive rock and roll T-shirt attire. You feel me? I wasn't aware until I watched the uh, episode of Mano's Kitchen Talk where Lord Jamal was on there and he discussed his differences with DMC from the legendary rap group Run DMC. He, uh, he addressed and made it known that he had problems with this. Like, yo, where's some hip-hop shit? Or, or where's some, some some black rock and roll artists? You feel me? Jimi Hendrix or some shit. Rock a James Brown t-shirt or some shit. Like, he, he, uh, he, he expressed his level of <laughs> distaste for what he was doing. Like, you're, you're a legend. Let me let y'all hear what the fuck uh, Lord Jamal had to say about this, man. Is that so? Very much so. Virgil. Um, but DMC. Yeah. Represent hip hop, man. That's what Represent I'm saying. Hip -hop. Stop wearing these rock and roll shirts. But black people started rock too. Yeah, but he's wearing like white rock and roll shirts. Right. Like mm -hmm. Judas Priest and ACDC and Led Zeppelin. Is that the music that he, that he listens to? I don't know. Maybe that's what inspires you. Know, you know, rock that is. is yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about that, but at the same time, come on, be smarter than that. Like, I feel like you purposely doing that. You purposely every time I see you got a rock and roll T-shirt, you can't wear a Run DMC T-shirt. Mm. LL Cool J, something. Oh, Def Jam jacket, nothing. Mm. Like, come on, like, give me something, like, you know what I mean, <laughs> like. And he's the one that was pumping the James up. Brown t-shirt? Anything. <laughs> right, right, right. I, I follow that. And he's the one that was pumping the whole uh, vaccination. Goofy. Goofy. Man, look. I just... You represent hip-hop. You, you are a staple in this rap culture, in this hip hop community, you are one of the the legends. The the, the uh, you are one of the the goats in groups. You feel me? It's a whole plethora of hip hop artists. It's a whole plethora of soul music artists. Back when you was rapping, talking about, yeah, mom's cooking chicken and collard greens. They wasn't playing Metallica in the living room, boy. What the fuck is you doing? He doing all these little rock and roll hand gestures. Like, come on, man. You, you DMC. Run. You need to pray for your mans. 
You need to pray that he come back to hip hop because your boy, he didn't cross over to the other side. Yeah. Man, goofy behavior. Goofy behavior. I'm not even gonna get started on the on the uh vaccination talk that he was pushing earlier on the black community. I'm not even gonna get into that. I just feel like DMC he he don't wanna be uh he don't wanna be boxed into hip hop no more. So he's he displaying that through his t-shirts, I guess. I don't know. But he need to get it together. Or I'm going to exile his ass out of this fucking hip-hop shit. I can't literally do that, but I'm just saying. Like, come on, man. Put on some different fucking t-shirts. This man got one Adidas t-shirt. He got one. You feel me? Yeah. And then, right, you, you, you standing next. Pardon me, because I don't know who the dude is, but he seemed like he's a very old-school hip-hop-ish. You feel me? You standing next to him. He got on a hip-hop t-shirt. And then look what you got on. It's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Yeah, it probably all started from when he was doing uh, the Walk This Way video with Aerosmith. Yeah, did you get the rock and roll bug then? Like, come on, man, cut it up. Praise our legends. Stop praising anybody else legends, you feel me? Because them groups don't fuck with you, and them groups probably don't never listen to your shit. And I wonder if that's what he really listens to all the time, and he was just faking like he was a, 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 a what? Get him the fuck out of here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Go get you a motherfucking De La Soul t-shirt or something, man. It's your boy, your ball head, take four wings and fries. Please hit them likes and please hit them subscribes. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified as well for these vibes when I'm dropping this fire. You already know what it is, man. No condoms, media. Come on, baby. You know what you think of this video. I'll get at y'all next time, man. Yeah.